Well, hello there, my fellow brothers, sisters, gamers, and anime lovers. Buster here again with another reaction video. And you notice, yeah, I cut myself. Eh, I'm doing fine, better, and all. It's been a few days, but eh, it healed. I'd rather not put a band-aid on it to hurt myself. But this is something new, something I want to add to the channel because, yes, you know me as Buster. You know me as this. You know, also know me as an agent. But the one thing you don't know is what kind. Do you even know that what country I'm from? But this is the time I will share with you a piece of myself and a piece of my culture and I hope you guys enjoy it. And I welcome you to come here and enjoy it with me because I've seen that the Philippines is becoming a destination spot for tourists. And you're welcome in any way, shape or form. Just don't cause trouble, just don't mess with the locals. It's just that's all we ask because we've seen streamers who come to the other countries that are not that um they say that we're lenient we're um <laughs> we're more forgiving of tourists no if you break the law you're getting you're getting an ass beat okay uh, at the same time make sure to be always kind and caring for your fellow man it doesn't matter where you are or uh, where you came from or who you are just just be a decent person so today I am sharing with you my culture or what I eat, what we have here, because there is one video in particular, <laughs> this is a stab at the MK um, creator known as Panda Man for making a scene like this. Let me check this out. There we go. Here. Elder gods, get used to your own realm's food. But if I get caught by just one outworlder, I'm dead. If you're that desperate, then go to a damn third world country. It's the same shit. Then go to a di You heard that? You heard that right? Go to a third world country. And believe me, my country is designated as a third world country. But compared to what's happening with with what's happening over there, you know that there's chaos and mayhem and just utter nonsense. But in the Philippines, we're still stable and we're still um, reasonable by some miracle. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, but we never burden ourselves with small things. We just worry about what we actually need. Which is, the funny thing about it is, and not don't take any offense to this in america one of their problems is obesity in the philippines uh is the lack of food those who can't afford it so the one thing we do appreciate in one of our main cultures is eating and if you don't know that whenever we eat in a dining room with everyone there present that is the time where it's happiness where it's the most Talkative, we talk about our days, what's been happening, what's happening to the, to the country, what's happening to the world. It's the best time to get around and just enjoy ourselves just speaking to each other. And that's how the Philippines have rolled for thousands of years. So I want to share to you guys a little piece of me to understand me a bit. Uh, we also eat healthy. Uh, the one joke that commonly happens is American food is usually... Um, there's not much taste. It's bland. It's just, yeah. It's delicious, but the re the more flavorable, the saucy, the sweet, the whatever flavor we have, we are known for marinating our food, like sauce, barbecues, like that. And then just painting on and just frying like that. My, fa my mother has so many good recipes that I love. And... One day, I might show you guys what it is, so leave me a comment down below if you want me to share you our home-cooked meals. Maybe you might enjoy it too, because believe me, it's my mom, she could have been a chef, but to each his own. So this is American Breakfast versus Filipino Breakfast by Joshua Weissman, which is something that caught my eye. So I wonder what he's gonna brought up here, because I know my, fil my, br my Filipino breakfast day in and day out especially that the mcdonald's here has adopted our breakfast so what is your breakfast it's either longanisa which is to you sausage corned beef and the like with some bread a bread eggs that's how we just roll let's see what weissman will give to us a splash of water i will give you americans the credit 
I love bacon. Believe me, it's one of your best uh, selections. In here in the Philippines, we don't use bacon at all in our breakfast because, yeah, one, it's expensive. <laughs> Two, it's really, we, that's not how we grow, uh, how, how we grew up. So, yeah, one thing I have to say about you Americans, I love your bacon. Believe me, I would love, there is um, my mom's lovable recipe of a ro uh, roast whole chicken. Is one thing about a whole roast chicken, put some parsley, uh, there's a side dish, like complement to the chicken. So it's surrounded by baby potatoes, small potatoes, basically, this size, you can fit one in your mouth easy. And, and that's one of my favorite things. Uh, baby potatoes with some oil and parsley and bacon bits. Mmm, delicious bacon bits. You just... Want to keep on coming back and get getting those potatoes and bacon's mixed and just take a spoonful in. That that's how I my mom does it and it's absolutely delicious. I would love to share that with you guys. Believe me, I want to share more of my lifestyle with you and I hope you guys can enjoy it and I hope you guys pay Philippines a visit. It's a good it's a good place to take a visit from time to time for vacations. Yes, that's how we do it. We marinate our food once it's prepared. The the meat has absorbed it fully, and you can get all the taste in it. That's tocino for you. He pronounced it correctly. I, I might... That's the problem with sometimes, like, I know... This is a different panda. Big Jiggly Panda pronounced ta Tagalog as Tagalog. It's Tagalog. <laughs> it's funny to hear foreigners uh, speak our language and just, just giggle at if you mispronounce something. <laughs> it's like, it's so weird to us if you pronounce it in a different way in all honesty repellent to vampires <laughs> just kidding just kidding there's a lot of garlic in our food guys you, that's a big surprise for you <laughs> but it gives it its flavor that's why it, uh, garlic is important msg is that is practically we call it vitsin it's an additive kind of yeah, I don't know much of kitchen lingo. I need my mom to teach me a little bit more of that. Because, yes, the only thing I can cook is basic foods. And her recipes, I need to follow it by the book. <laughs> it really shows who cooks here. But I can cook some of it. It's called... <laughs> he blurred out. He couldn't pronounce it. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna do this a favor. I'm gonna do him a favor. It's called it. Josh doesn't know how to pronounce it. It is pronounced Sinangag. That's how it's pronounced. Sinangag. Sinangag. Okay? I hope Josh sees this so he'll know what Sinangag is. That's how we pronounce fried rice. That's, the, that's our patent. Uh, patented uh, a little bit of Tagalog for you kinakain niya ng kamay what did I just say? he's eating with his hands in us you may call us uncultured uncivilized swine but that's how we eat from time to time when we don't want to use spoon and fork sometimes we just grab the rice that's how we eat kamay kamayan it's hands and hands so basically that's there are certain foods that you can eat with your hands. There are some that are not. So that's why it's a rare thing to do outside, especially with today's day and age where, where what's happening after three years and the viruses and na 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 We are now using utensils. Although, if we are at home cooking our own meals, yeah, kamay. That's how it is. A cookbook. I love when other people enjoy what we enjoy. It's just showing you that, yay, here's something you never knew. I'd like to share it with you. Hope you enjoy it. And when I see the smile in people's faces, enjoying the very thing that I always enjoyed and looking at the face of wonder, like, mm, like, I love it. I love sharing what a little piece of me for all of you. And if you are ever in the Philippines, try them out. I would recommend soups for you because those are my favorite, especially when I'm sick, because it helps me recover with how nutritious the soups are. We, I know chicken artichoke soups and chicken soups. I, 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 I know a few American soups. 
But if you tried our soups, you will be blown away, especially with the types. There are two basically types that primary for me. I don't know the other soups because, yeah. There are actually three three types I know, but one is not my favorite. It's called tinola, which is soup, chicken soup, basically. And I can't go into in-depth with the ingredients because, yes, I don't know how to cook that one. Although, I have two that I know about, which is one of my favorite and one of my sister's. My favorite is called Milaga, which is basically a pork soup, if you, consider, if you can call that. We have pechay, potatoes, spring onion, and pork. A lot of, lots of pork. So basically... That's how the soup is made. I'm, I can't go into details. I'll try and have my mom record my mom do it. And there, there's is sinigang, which is the sa sour, uh, not, not the sour, masim, masim, sour, I think. I don't know the English of, of masim, so yeah. It's basically uh, chick, uh, no, no, uh, pork as well, but it has different ingredients like okra um oh, i freaking forgot lebanos kangkong which is like sea cabbage maybe i don't know what's the english term for it pork as we know gabi it is basically like sweet potato in in a sense and and tomatoes basically so yeah that is one that is my culture. Hope you guys enjoy that. I could recommend you some foods. And if you want some fast foods, go to Jollibee. It is the the mortal enemy of McDonald's over here in my country because Jollibee may be a local store, a local restaurant over here, but its uh its menu is vast and just as good as McDonald's. Although the quality of McDonald's over here uh uh, in the Philippines have degraded. The one thing that I never um, grew tired of at McDonald's is the McFlurry. And yes, the ice cream machine works over here in the Philippines most of the time. There are only occasional times that it does not. I only had, out of 100, only one time they said the machine is busted to me. That's how consistent, especially with a tropical country like mine, which is hot, ice cream. Ice cream is the most necessary thing in our lives to cool us down. So yeah, McFlurry is one of my favorites, especially the, the McFloat. But if you're going to go for Jollibee, try the chicken, that six-piece chicken joy bu bucket. Ooh, I'm going to piss off a lot of vegans in this one. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Um, yeah. And try the palabok. It's noodles, basically, with some sauce. Delicious sauce. And yes, try them. You'll be surprised. So if you're ever here, give me a holler and tell me you're here and you're staying here. I'm not giving you my address, nor am I going to tell you what city I am. Because in this country, it's easy to find someone because of our records. At the same time, the openness of our address and zip code. So no dice. So... Hope you guys enjoy this one. I hope it's an eye-opener for you, for my country and my culture. We are a country of food. We enjoy food, believe me. I am overweight, and I am exercising and trying to lose it. I'm a whole lot lighter now than before. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy this. Like, comment, subscribe if you'd like to. And for the Philippines, smash that like button in the face! And I'll see you next time by subscribing. And hope to see you there on the next video. Be there. Or be freaking square. Boop.